This 1994 Fender Telecaster came into our shop recently. Now it looks great and it plays great, but whenever the player plugs it in, there's some popping and cracking, and when you start to play, sometimes there's no signal at all. Now the customer tightened the nut all the way down, but the cup in the jack is still loose, and I think that's what's causing his problems. So we're gonna dive into it. You might not realize how the jack is held inside on the telly. The jack isn't held by this jack cup, it's the opposite. The cup is actually held in place by the jack. So what's holding the jack in there? Inside the body, the jack is mounted to a piece of metal called the retainer clip. This clip bites into the wood on either side of the cavity to hold it in place. This is what the jack is mounted to, and it's what the cup is locked against with the nut. So stress on the jack moves this retainer clip inside the guitar and it gets loose over time. This is really common. Stress like plugging and unplugging the guitar, leaning your guitar up against the wall with the cable still plugged in, or stepping on the cable while you're playing are all ways to cause stress onto this retainer clip. I'm not quite sure how Leo Fender came up with this idea. A hero of mine and an extraordinary mechanically minded person, but this doesn't seem like his best idea. It's gonna for sure work its way loose. And when it does, it's gonna take wood with it. And that's just gonna create an issue that we have to solve. By the way, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps us keep making these videos for you. So the retainer clip comes pre-bent just like this one. So it fits into the cavity. But once it's inside the cavity, you have to figure out how to flatten it out. There's no easy way to flatten that retainer clip inside the cavity, except for Sumax Telejack installation tool, which was specifically made to flatten and bend retainer clips. It bends that flat piece of metal into shape to fit in the hole, and then bends it the other way to straighten it out inside of the guitar, driving the ends into the wood. I'm gonna pull out this clip with the installation tool. And I can reinstall it by turning it 90 degrees so it gets into some fresh wood. There, fixed. The same way the factory installed the clip in the first place. Hot tip, I just found this extra wire laying around our shop and I just made a little knot on one end. I just put a little ball through there, a little knot, so it backs up against the back edge and then I just run this through here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the cup and the nut back on and tighten it down. Got my half inch little T-handle wrench here. That's in there real tight. That's not going anywhere. Cool, it works. Our jack's nice and tight. No wiggles or wobbles or other words with W's. So that was one way you could have fixed this guitar. The second method is to get rid of the retainer clip completely and use the electric socket jack mount. It threads directly onto the jack and then has two screws that go into the either side of the cavity holding it in place. So the electro socket's what I have on my own guitar. I think it's easier to install and easier to use. I just kind of trust it more than the retainer clip. But if you have a vintage Telecaster or you want to keep your guitar original, the installation and removal tool is definitely the way to go.